Welcome to Freestyle Friday with Mr. Calford. This one's going out to all you grade 10 applied students working out your similar triangles and trigonometric ratios, yo. Here's the tale of a couple of young triangle bachelors scouting out a party looking to score a few phone numbers, hitting up the scene looking their polygon best. Ernie and Stu would put their lines to the test. Stu, there's a cute angle, three o'clock, I'm going in. I don't even check for you if she got a congruent twin. Thanks, Ern, but no, I'm gonna make my own waves. I'm seeing that isosceles return in my gaze. So Ernie headed left, yo, while Stu took a right. With his Mac Daddy swagger looking flyer than a kite. Thinking about a way to muster up some conversation. Ernie sat beside her asking about her dream vacation. Well, she said, for starters, my name is Isabel. And what's up with your question? I mean, what is this show and tell? Burn, Ernie thought. Man, this wasn't like he planned. He'd need to recover quick to get up out of the sand. You know, Izzy, you and I, we're very much alike. I'm talking walking on the beach and taking picnic hikes. Your vertices have captured me one corner to the other. Now I know you want to hit the floor. Come dancing with a brother. Out of all three of points, only one of them was right. Yeah, I like to dance, but that don't mean that I'm your type. I see you really trying hard, but it's all too familiar. You want to dance with me? You got to prove that we are similar. Dang it, Ernie thought. I guess I'm coming at her all wrong. But a little trigonometry will be dancing to the next song. Look at my angles, Izzy. Do some quick comparisons. They're all the same as yours if you would match the corresponding ones. And Izzy, my hypotenuse is parallel to yours. My sides are in proportion to a scale factor of four. So call it intuition, but we're practically congruent. Two right angle triangles and one at end pursuant. Yeah, there's a story of Ernie. He knew his math. Pays off. Now some of y'all been asking me, oh what happened to Stu? The notorious player Casanova triangle number two. Let's roll back our minds and recall from the last chapter. At a hopping party scene, it was the isosceles he was after. Have you ever waved at someone who you thought just waved at you? Well a similar situation happened to our buddy Stu. He thought that fine isosceles had eyed him at the dough. But really, her gaze, it was by passing our bro. There was a fine scalene making a scene on the floor. Moving so fly, his three corners look like four. How's a shape got a chance against a dude like that? Stu knew to compete, he'd had to break out just a little math. Hey girl, he said, so tell me what's your sign? Mine's 488, but I rounded to 49. Your angles look acute, and I see they're complimentary. Your tan is very nice, and sign and coast, they look the same to me. Excuse me, she said, looking him over in dismay. You should make like the sum of your angles and walk away. You're a high pot nuisance, and you must be a square. To think you could impress without more trigonometric flair. I don't date a shape unless his sign ends in a four. And I don't want no scrub who has to round the sound like more. My boyfriend will beat you till your opposite side's adjacent, so I'd make like a polygon. This umbrella's taken. Burn, Ernie thought, making a dash perpendicular. Some girl triangles are just way too particular. My pickup lines were classic, but maybe too upfront for her. Next time I'll bust out something maybe more extracurricular. Here the tale closes, a bit anticlimactically, but Stu will not lose heart or give up flirting quite so easily. Stay tuned to your math books and practice trigonometry, cause one day you will need it, even if for now you don't agree. Locked into Freestyle Friday, up here in the Collegiate with Mr. Calford. Do your homework, Elf.